Sunday's Big League. We go up to the Sunday Press. The sporting editor is Scott Palmer. Scotty, good evening once again. Good evening, Peter. Welcome viewers to the Sunday Press, the best football paper in town and the one that the others follow up all week. Fitzroy on the on upward path to the five. Suffered a setback tonight when Glenn Coleman, the ruckman, was told he had a cruciate ligament problem. It's going to be an operation for Glenn and many months on the sidelines. But Robbie Walls, his coach, is playing the Lions' success down tonight. One week at a time, that's all he'd say. Tom Hapey said he thought the Cats had a chance at three-quarter time today. We were three up, we had the wind, but we didn't fight hard enough, said Tom. It's going to be hard from the Cats from now on. We will make the five, and that's something I've never doubted. So said Mike Patterson of Richmond after the Tigers at last found form at VFL Park against another finals contender Footscray. Patterson disclosed that many of the Tigers in previous games had been ill or injured. We are fit and ready now, he said. Particularly Morris Rioli, who picked up eight kicks and three marks in the last quarter. Footscray had a sign on the wall at VFL Park, win today and no training tomorrow. The Bulldogs, they'll be out on the track at 9am tomorrow. Mickey Malthouse said it's no use abusing them. They know they've let themselves down today. And the hoodoo continues. Footscray have played five games at VFL Park, have lost four and scraped in with the other one. Collingwood is angry over the late withdrawal of David Toomey. His coach John Cale had some very strong words to say at the MCG. But Cale was delighted with the response he got in writing from the Magpies this week. He asked them to tell them about their weaknesses. They told it well, but there were very few out there today. The Magpies really put in. Ron Barassi, however, was devastated with the result. He said it was Melbourne's worst game for the year. Some of the skills, he said, were kindergarten stuff. North Melbourne put up a game fight against Carlton, which had 100 more possessions and won by only two goals. And coach Barry Cable said that apart from Essendon and Hawthorne, Fitzroy were the best side the Kangaroos had met this season. David Parkin said the Blues didn't use the conditions to their advantage. Silvio Faschini was reported for striking Mark Harvey at Windy Hill, and his coach Graham Kelly, Jelly I should say, referred to it later in his post-mortem. He said the Saints lost their initiative after a certain incident in the last quarter, but Jelly was confident the Saints were a better side than what many people thought. Sheedy won't have it that Essendon is a premiership certainty, but he was heartened today by the form of Neil Danaher too in the reserves. Against the Saints, he said, we warned the, that the Bombers to be prepared for some hard tackling. We withstood it and kept on playing good football. Back to you, Peter. Right, thank you, Scotty. Let's check the leading goal kickers now as they stand tonight.